everyone. This is Ryan Hoyme at Key Massage Nerd, and today we have Barb Richmond. Hi. Hi, welcome, Barb. Ryan. So, Thank so you. what's new in the cranial cradle world? Then? Well, you know, this month June marks our second anniversary. When I met you two years ago, and that was my first conference too. <laughs> Yeah. for the cranial cradle. Yep. Um, that's when we introduced the cranial cradle, and it's been two years, and we have learned so much from the therapists who have gotten on the table at shows such as this to try the cranial cradle. And so because yep. we learned so much and so many new therapeutic ways to use the cranial cradle, we were forced to create a brand new full-color brochure showing all the different ways that you can use the cranial cradle. So now we're up to over 16 ways to use oh, the perfect. cranial cradle underneath the body. So we're really, this is just uh, new, uh, and it's in every carton of your cranial cradle. And, uh, and then we created some new videos okay. to go along with Can you get up on your website then? Yes, yeah, okay, on cranialcradle.com. Okay. You can see all the videos that show you all the different ways yep. to use the cradle. So it's just really been a great journey. And my main way that I use it is on airlines. I'm flying and stuff like that. Yeah, so. I think you were the first yeah. one to tell me that. Yeah. And now my daughter and I don't travel without them. Yeah, yeah. You can use them in the car as well. In fact, yeah. we did seating in here because you can use them underneath your back while you're sitting in your office chair. You yeah. can use it on the airplane. You can use it uh, in the car yeah. while you're traveling in your car. So yeah. it's a very versatile <laughs> tool. So when we use it, um, in case you're new to cranial cradle, you use this as a therapeutic tool for self-help, and you can also use it as an extra set of hands in the therapy session. So therapists can position it under the body to make their work a little easier and to facilitate the type of work that they're doing. Yeah, so especially um, after you're done working on the head and neck area, you can just put that underneath. Um, it would be really comfortable for the client and stuff. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's so you don't have to put stable. like a little bolster or a headrest or anything underneath there mm -hmm. to make it relaxing. It's, this mm -hmm. is even better. So. <laughs> and you can position it underneath the head while you work underneath the head yep. and it's not in your way while you're working yep. the shoulders and the neck area. And then people, if they can retail that stuff too at their businesses because it's a passive sale. You don't have to do anything. You just give that to them and if they like it then they'll actually mention those kind of things. Yeah. So. And we've seen a lot yep. of that in the last couple of years because yep. the therapists are using Using it as a tool, introducing it to their clients on the therapy table, and then they know best what their clients need in yep. between their therapy sessions. So it's an easy retail for them to offer to their clients to use as a self-help therapy tool in between their visits. Yep. Yeah. And um, you also have a Facebook page then too, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we do yeah. have a Facebook page, yep. Cranium Cradle page. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you put some testimonials on there about it. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Yeah. 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 And then also, if you're going to retail them kind of thing, too, you can get a discounted rate by buying a lot then, right? So, yeah, yes, yeah, I yeah. actually prefer to wholesale directly to therapists. Yeah. I have great wholesale pricing. Um, I know therapists uh, need a, uh, often need an extra revenue stream, so uh, we have really very good wholesale pricing for therapists. Yes, definitely. It's, yeah. it's a win-win situation. Yeah, it really is. It's turned out to be that way. Yep. And the thing is, whenever I walk by your booth and stuff, there's always people on your table constantly and stuff, and it's hard to even talk to you. So. <laughs> Yep. I'm very happy to do that. You yep. know, these are manual therapists, yep. and they may see this. Um, they may see this video with us. And, yep. But if they haven't tried it, if they haven't touched it, if they haven't laid on it, it's not really. Yep. You know, they can't. They can't judge it. Yep. And so I stay as busy as I can be here. I, anybody who wants to get on the table, I I'll stay as late as they let us stay because manual therapists need to experience it for themselves yep. to understand. Does it work? How does it feel? Would it be comfortable for me for my clients? Yep. And why did you decide on that color? <laughs> well, yeah. it's because I looked up the meaning of color. Okay. And blues and greens are the colors of, of health. They mean health. They mean wellness. They're the colors that affect us in a calming, soothing way. So it's really a, 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 a blue-green combination, this particular color. Uh -huh. And that's why I just chose it. We played with a lot of color, and I painted cradles with color to get this particular color, but yep. yeah, that's why. I love it. It's like it really subtle green and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Is there an actual name for that color, do you know? Um, 
If there is, it's long since flown my brain. Yo. <laughs> I, I don't, it, it was actually a Benjamin Moore color, because so I went there to pick out colors. Yep. And they had the little sample, and we brought them all home, and I painted, you know, like 20 cranial cradles, all different oh, yeah. colors, to find the color that was most appealing, I thought. Yep. So, yeah. So we can look forward to seeing you at most of the massage shows and conferences and stuff too then, right? Yes, I yeah. do as many yeah. massage shows as I can every year. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you te um, taught some like hour classes and stuff too in the past. And, yeah. yeah, Debbie Roberts, yeah. who yeah. is a good friend of mine who's uh, actually teaching here at the FSMTA this year, uh -huh. um, developed a class, a one hour class, uh, on how to use the cranial cradle in a cervical and sacral routine. Okay. So she has taught that quite okay. a bit. So anything else we can look forward to in the future from Cranial Cradle then? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> there is one more thing yeah, yeah. coming up. Well, maybe two more things. Yeah. Um, I have a home uh, spa system coming out very soon. So it won't be this packaging. It's a very, um, uh, it's a very cute little packaging. It includes a special aromatherapy eye pillow with lavender that I had okay. custom made for the cranial cradle use. And it has music, you know, Gorgeous George. Oh, um, yeah. Well, yeah. he, uh, I got three of his pieces of music, and then I got three pieces of music from, I believe her name is Marina Ray. She does flute music. Yep, I, I met her at a yep. show. Yep. And so I took three of her uh, flute songs, and so I have one CD in every cranial cradle home therapy spa package. So you get your cranial cradle, your eye pillow, your special relax, relieve, restore music, yep. and um, and then a little booklet that tells you how to use it and how to. Uh, so I think it's going to be a nice gift for like the holiday season. Oh, it's definitely. not quite ready yet, but so it'll be out. What do you think will come out then? Or um, I should have it out. In another four to five weeks, but I probably won't debut it for um, what is this? We're almost in July. Yeah. Yeah, probably October. Okay. Probably perfect. debut in October. So, yeah, so, so once it, October start, hits, make sure you just keep going to the website every single day. And yeah. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, um, I think we'll probably get some um, uh, coverage in some of the major uh, magazines when they do new product reviews. Yeah. I'll submit it, so you yeah. might see it, you know, in a new product review. Okay. In some of the major magazines. And the other thing I'm working on is a, a poster for therapists that shows the actual anatomy and physiology of how, when you place the cranial cradle, okay, yeah. actually like the, uh, where it goes under the body specifically and like the trigger points that we're affecting or the musculature that we're affecting and trail guide to the body. Uh, Graciously, awesome generously, guys. Andrew Beale and wonderful stuff. Yeah. People, yeah, I'm telling you, they're brilliant, and their work is brilliant. Um, they uh, let me use their images for my new poster, so that will be coming out probably later on this year as well. So okay. it's just an extra thing that therapists to really see it. I think might help if you can't get to a show and feel it and touch it and have me go through a yep. demonstration with you. It's a, a tool that you can use and see and see the anatomy. Yep. And especially with that, they, you can just put it up in your office and then the clients can see that too and stuff and they'll ask questions about it. And so, oh, that's, yeah, 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 that's great. I was yeah. going to make it too big because you know a lot of yeah. people don't have a lot of wall space. Yeah. But the images from Trail Guide, you know, their are images awesome. are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they really are. So it'll be, yeah. it'll be, I think it'll be, it'll turn out to be really nice. Yeah. A nice tool. Yeah. And the best way to get a hold of you the fastest then would be? Uh, uh, um, Barb at yeah. CranioCradle.com. Okay. Yeah, or our phone number. We have an 800 number, 888-380-6748. Yep. But Barb at Cranium Cradle, write to me all the time. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thanks, Thank Barb. Yeah, always a pleasure. Oh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.